YouTube, welcome back to another 978 Customs video, and here we got Spider-Man 1602, and it'd be only right to read his bio with an English accent. An orphan, Peter was raised by his Scottish uncle Benjamin and his wife, until one year on his birthday, Sir Nicholas Fury came to his door. Fury had known Peter's parents and sought Peter to enter into his service. He became Fury's assistant, helping him on all manner of assignments. Having to stay in England, Peter had to change his surname to Parker, as during Queen Elizabeth's rule. Scots were not taken favorably well due to James VI of Scotland. Peter was sent to escort Virginia Dare as she met with Queen Elizabeth and was present when she was taken away by one of Count Doom's assassins. So there's the bio. I don't really know much. I haven't read any of these issues. Honestly, I just got them in from eBay. I got a good deal on all five comics. These are only two right now, but I will put the other three up. They just don't really fit in frame. Uh, I don't know if that's Lizard or not. It looks like it, obviously, right? I do like the 1602 stamp, the wax stamp. It just reminds me of those times, of what it would actually look like if he was from those ages. But I will say this is a pretty neat custom. And you see that the peg holes in the back, because I did have a cape I was going to attach. I know he doesn't have a cape, but... It'd be cool to have a cape on him, and I'll show you a picture at the end, but I decided to not have the cape in general. I just thought it would be a cool feature to add on. And you guys know I usually say, oh, this custom is pretty simple. All you got to do is this, that, and the third, but this one isn't too simple. It actually took a lot of sculpting, a lot of layers, and at first I was nervous. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but it did come out okay, and so I am pretty pleased with it. Now, these are all the comics, so I'm going to get them out the way now. Uh, if you guys know anything about these comics, feel free to put them in the comment section. Let me know about it. And the coolest comment will be pinned to the top. All the way up. The thing about this one is the sculpt work. That torso area with his clothing. I tried to make that look as accurate as possible without having the comics in hand. But now I have them so I can compare them. And for the most part, they do look alike. Of, clo of course, the clothes look a lot more detailed. I, I think it's okay, and the color shading is also a little different, but I didn't want a dark blue. I, navy blue just doesn't sit well too much for me, so I wanted to add a little lighter shade to it. And there is some type of fading, but it's not the cleanest, so I, I won't even mention it. So if you want to know how to make this figure, all you need is a Batroc, a Batroc, I don't know how you say that name, uh, a Bucky Cat body, basically. And this is, uh, I believe, Havoc's head. Yep, this is this is actually Havoc's head. Just sculpted around it, left his eyes visible, and that's pretty much it, I think. And the two little neck scarf pieces are removable. You can see that they are uh, they're not sculpted on. I wanted to sculpt them on at first because I didn't know how to go about doing this, and I got lucky, and I ended up actually just. Uh, sculpting around it i show you some work in progress pictures really quick that way i don't sound all unorganized yeah take a look so starting with the head i just took a havoc head and shaved down all of the grooves until it was smooth and then sculpted over the face and around the eyes at first the face looked like a snout so i had to shave it down and then i painted it and it looked a lot better once the paint was on but the most difficult part of all was this torso because it took layers and you see this is already two layers the first one is flat the second one is the ridges and the ridges meaning the little lines on the chest had some extra sculpt so i did the leg and then with the extra sculpt i did the collar piece i didn't like the way it looked so i wanted to do it again here's a better shot at the leg so i wanted to try the neck collar again but before I tried it, I just wanted to continue moving on. I did more sculpt on the leg. I did the waist. I did the buttons and the two border lines on the side. I did a little bit of, I believe, the shoulders to give it a little more of like a padded shoulder look. Did the sleeves and then I continued on and I tried that on top and I didn't like the way it looked still. But I had to continue on. It reminds me of like a jester. So here it was, I tried it again. So I made a second one and I used sculpt that was almost at its dry point in order to get it to not stick on the figure. And I was like, man, I need something else. I feel like it's missing something. I said, ah, I get it. 
I got it now. But let me try on this new collar first. I had to fix that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I noticed what I was missing, and it was right around where the shoulders are, more shirt area. So I had to sculpt that, and that was kind of hard to sculpt. But I got no better way to do it now, so it wasn't wasn't too complicated. But this is just a demonstration before I was finished, and before I started painting to show you that these two neck collars are removable, and they both fit pretty well. Depends on your style of look. You could even put two of them on and have them both on top. That looks pretty cool. So once I added some sculpt around the arms, you can see that they came out a little bumpy. So I had to shave it down before I painted it. And I did the best I could, I think. And here are some kind of work in progress painting shots. And I was kind of okay with it. I'm like, okay, I see it coming along. There was that cape again, which I thought looked stupid after a while. So I didn't add the cape. But just like any other Marvel Legends, this figure moves and articulates the same exact way. Nothing's restricted. You have crunches up, you have crunches down. Um, this thing is removable and spins around. And this thing comes off. I'm gonna take the head off, off cam because I don't wanna break that collar. I don't know, does it, if there's a proper name for that collar, let me know. I wasn't born in 1602, so I do not know. But yeah, look. You see it has a rim on the bottom and that rim is basically to stand on top of the shoulders. But trying on the other one, you see it fits and everything. I just don't like the way it's shaped or something, I don't know. I like the way it's grooved as if it is flapping in the wind or it has some type of volume. But I just don't like the way it looks. It's too plain. However, it is there if you wanted to have a different look for your Spider-Man. And I have the shoulder pads up there. I, Maybe I could have smoothed them out a bit too. It reminds me of a matador. A matador! A bullfighter. Without the collar. Looks like a Mexican bullfighter. Which also would be a cool concept for Spider-Man. A Mexican bullfighting Spider-Man. Viva Mexico. But look. He can... It doesn't rotate by the way. That uh, neck collar. It's turns a little bit but it doesn't give you enough room to spin around so that way you know there's only one way to put it on you can't put it on backwards you can only put it on one way and the lines go all the way up to the back I should have sculpted over that peg hole bugs me it really does bug me but everything does rotate moves and articulates as it's supposed to customize as I say keep posing to a minimum but I say pose as much as you like why the heck not I gave him a thwip pan because Spider-Man would not be a Spider-Man without a thwip pan. Another thing I want to mention was being able to lift the arms all the way up without crashing into the sculpt. And I was able to execute that. But a problem was I, I couldn't sculpt the last button up on the ab crunch. And so I had to just paint it. I painted the very last button up there. It was a cop out. I couldn't squeeze the last piece of sculpt in there and squeeze it down enough for it to stick. So, ah. It worked out though and not having the comic book at the time when doing this logo was a little difficult so I had to wing a lot of it but it did look kind of accurate and the shoes have some sculpt on it it looked like little elf shoes but there he is YouTube Spider-Man 1602 if you like this custom and you want to see more Spider-Man customs, feel free to like, comment down below, let me know what you want to see next. Sorry for the delay, but I do have more customs coming. Also, comment down below on more content you would like to see from me. And feel free to subscribe for those who haven't, for those who have. Thank you very much. I appreciate seeing you guys over here all the time. And click the notification bell to be the first to get the videos when they do pop. So until then, YouTube, I'll see you next time. Thank you.